Hello guys, full time at the Emirates Stadium. I've just snuck far away from everyone so I can get my mask down for long enough to talk. That was a quite extraordinary game. Arsenal 2, Liverpool 1. I've never seen anything quite like it. I mean, it was very funny, I have to say. I mean, to be on the ropes like that, to concede the number of chances we did, to have the very limited chances that we did, that we didn't really create, they were a consequence of our pressing and of Liverpool errors, and to win was unexpected and fantastic. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know how sort of seriously to take it. <laughs> but there was clearly, there is clearly a big benefit here to Arsenal, both in terms of what it does for our, the league table and our hopes of qualifying for Europe that way, but also in terms of what it might do for morale ahead of the Man City game. This was a pretty decent rehearsal for what it might be like playing Manchester City at Wembley not having the ball, having to work incredibly hard without it, having to defend on the edge of our box, having to try and make the most of defensive lapses in the opposition, the occasional counter-attack, using the full extent of the squad, bringing players on, you know, to try and cover as much ground as we could, work as hard as we could for 90 minutes. There were shades, shades, I'll say, of what Jose Mourinho and Tottenham did to us at the weekend. What I would add is that they created a lot more chances in their in their performance than we did. You know, we made very few chances off our own bat, probably just the one for Joe Willock at the end. Um, the gulf between these sides is massive, and to a certain extent we played like a small team. You know, it's the cup on Saturday, but this felt like a cup tie. And I found it interesting that some of the conclusions that Mikel Arteta reached about facing this Liverpool team were not that dissimilar to the ones Unai Emery reached back at Anfield, playing with split, split strikers, sitting very deep, looking to hit them on the break. I mean, probably had more success on the break that day than we did today. In the first half in particular, Liverpool were on another level. In the second half, they had so much possession but didn't really make the most of it. But even when they did, you know, we got away with it. I think we got away with it is basically the headline for the day. I found it tremendously enjoyable and there hasn't been too much to enjoy this season, has there? So I think we have to take these moments when they come, relish them. Um, we've just beat the champions of England. Uh, I think that sort of makes us the best, doesn't it? Uh, by my logic, it does anyway. Imagine if they'd been playing for the unbeaten record, by the way, in this game. I saw Tim Steele make that point on Twitter. Wow, that would have been... I think it might have been a slightly more focused Liverpool, in fairness. But um, nonetheless, I am going to go and listen to Mikel Arteta's press conference. I imagine it'll just be him laughing at every question. Um, certainly, that's how I feel. Take care. hope you enjoyed it, wherever you are. Stay safe, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.